Hello and welcome to my Let's Play series of Crusader Kings 2. My name is Arumba and I'm going to be playing the Republic of Gotland. Quick story is that um, I love to watch Let's Plays on YouTube, but there's a few games that I like to, to watch and I just never seem to find enough videos on them. So I decided I'd start recording a few of my own, put them out there, see if anybody wants to watch them. I want to let you know in advance that um, this isn't going to be a a very in detail explanatory type let's play. I'm not going to explain how you play the game. I'm just going to play it. Um, I am a bit of a min max type player, so I'm very likely to try to role play but end up um, eking out every little bit of prestige and piety and opinion that I can in any way possible. Um, it's just the way I play, can't help it. And um, I know that there's a lot of players out there who are like that, so hopefully you'll understand why I'm doing it. I'm going to be playing today as the Republic of Gotland. This is the uh, the newest expansion for Crusader Kings 2. When they unveiled the Republics, they changed a lot of the, the features of the game, but I think that they actually made it very, very easy. So let's get started. Um, Republic of Gotland. Start off as a Duke tier to the King of Sweden, our liege, who has pneumonia. He's not likely to live very long with that. All right, well, first things first is I do want to put out a uh, quick plug for a couple of mods that um, I'm going to put in the description of the video. Uh, I do recommend that if you're going to play, you might want to consider getting them. One of them is... Um, very minor mod here. You'll notice this part of the interface. If you click a point, the window shows up. Excuse me. Shows up slightly to the right. That's a minor adjustment that I put in. It's called interface adjust. Normally, the default game opens it right here, which is very irritating. Having it show up here makes a lot more sense. Um, the other mod is a keyboard shortcuts. Just allows you to use Z, X, C, V, B, N, M, and the tilde key. So I'll be using those. You'll be seeing me kind of dart around pretty quickly on the menus. So first thing I want to do here is get things in order. We start off as 19-year-old, brand new mayor of the Republic of Gotland. Um, our heir is our half-brother with not much of anything, really. He's 14. And as you can see, uh, we have very, very little respect in regards to the Republic because our heir is under the age of 16, and also he has no prestige. So, I'm going to get started. First things first, let's get things in order. We need an ambition. Already married. Marshall is at seven, so we'll go for Marshall since it'll be the easiest to gain one point in and get the extra hundred prestige boost. We need to get these guys working. Military tech will do for now. Taxes will do for now. Let's go ahead and build spy network in our lieges area so we can see if we can get any extra money that way and couldn't hurt to get a little bit of extra reputation with the Pope I'm gonna start bribing and impressing my liege because the more he likes me the cheaper it will be to buy ports Okay, not really too worried about laws yet. I want to focus on legalism. We want to get, we already have town trade practices, so uh, we'll just keep working on more. There's a republic, and Bose is close, so we can do that. Okay, things look good. We could plot to kill people, but no point yet. And this is a bit 
not yet diligent, so let's do it. Let's go on a grand hunt, see if we can proc diligent or ambitious, and we'll go from there. Get the game running. I like to play at about three. Um, fast. <laughs> there he goes. I knew he wouldn't live very long. Brand new liege. Um, I'm okay with Crown Authority. It doesn't really bother me very much. I like Stable Realms. Makes it easier. Um, this really in the game, I'm not going to take a piety hit. We do not want Slothful. I'll chance the wounding. Piety sounds good. And it's only been a couple days, so we can hunt again. What I'm doing here is I'm trying to proc the event. It gives you Diligent, which is a plus one to all stats. And there's also a possibility of gaining the Ambitious trait from the hunt. Once you have those two, it's really not necessary to try to go on a hunt. You don't get that much prestige from it. Okay, we don't have enough money for much of anything yet. Um, we are playing as Elf, I think it's, yep, Afstrenkia. Stenkirka. And we have one trade post, the one in Gotland. Currently we get the county capital, and that's about it. And then of course we have our householding. So, one of the things about the republics that I find to be pretty abusive currently is that um, the plotting system, you can really screw over the AI and they don't seem to have any idea how to beat the player. I am playing on the uh, difficult setting, which gives a lot of benefits to the AI. Lower morale for me, which makes combat difficult. Higher morale for the enemy, which makes it even more difficult. Sometimes it's like fighting against a brick wall. Um, they also get 50% more income, which makes a huge difference because it kind of works its way up the, the ladder from count to duke to king. But it's one of the only ways to try to make the game a little bit more challenging. my intrigue, I'm not going to be able to do very much here. Really the goal is to save up some money, um, so that we're able to build a trade post. It's going to cost quite a bit until we are able to get our liege to like us a little bit more. we're going to make about 70 gold a year, so it's going to take a couple of years before we actually um, have enough for our first post. And at present the... there we go, perfect. My liege, my mission to Sodder Manland has so far been a success during my visit. We have increased our relations by plus 40. That'll help out tremendously. As you can see that already drops the cost down by about 40 gold. It was at almost 200. I'd like to get at least one more of those. That buff does stack. If I get one more, he'll almost be maxed out. And it's too early in the game to start spending huge amounts to bribe kings. There's a siege taking place. 
somewhere. Not really involved in it at all. Actually, in fact, what is he doing? Alright, my brother now has a bit of... Should have some respect. Yeah, not much, but he'll start getting more soon. He's going to need a wife, and uh, this is a great way, kind of gamey, but um, even if he just marries a courier, a courtier, um, it's very easy to gain a tremendous amount of experience. Not experience, but um, there we go. 300, for instance. And really what we want to find is one with almost no bride cost. Yeah, no bride cost, 306 prestige. I don't really care about her stats because I don't plan on playing as him. I'd rather play as my own son once he's born. But just in case, watch this, the respect will jump significantly because of that marriage. Uh, great. Patience is a good... Very good trait to have. I don't like that I'm leading troops. Hopefully we'll be able to get the first trade post built before the end of this video. Yeah, here you go. You can see the AI is already rapidly expanding with their trade posts, my fellow patricians, because they have significantly higher income or had money to begin with, I'm not really sure. Well, at this point, getting close and could likely purchase a... Where's my son? Um, probably not going to be able to wait. Let's go ahead and check out the city income. And the higher the city income, the greater the benefit I'll have to my trade posts. You can see here. The trade zone income right there, this $40, 40 gold is what really determines the effect. That affects how much this benefit is. You can see it's gaining 28.8% right now. And if I increase this number, that will go up. It's a combination of the total income from every trade post, as well as the income from the cities that those trade posts are in. And in order to get the benefit, you have to have it connected within the zone. So we're going to take this one here right in the capital because that will be connected in the Sea of Aland, which will give us more trade zone value which will boost everything. Hope likes us more. And this is a really a trial run on the first video so I'm going to have to end the video here and look for adding another one very soon after. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and if, if you liked it, watch the next. Talk to you later.